Good morrow, my lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard. I'm Laura, and this is a makeup video. As I said in my intro, this is a makeup video. More specifically, I'm going to attempt to recreate Chris Motionless's makeup look from the new single Cyberhex. And that would be this. So the first thing I'm going to focus on are the eyes. Actually, yeah, first thing I'm going to focus on are the eyes. Because there's a lot going on there. So before I jump into the actual eye part, I'm going to do the eyebrows because his eyebrows are very defined in the new promotion pictures. So I'm going to take the brush that I use for all my black eyeshadow and I'm actually going to use the black from the, you know what, I'm going to use the black from the Palette Royale palette because I haven't used Fever Dream since I showed you Fever Dream. So I'm going to be using punching bag. Now that I have Groucho Mark style eyebrows, let's jump into the actual eye. A blackness all around his eye. So that's what we're going to do. But there's also a bit of a purple hue around the outside of that. So I'm going to attempt that same shape. And I'm still going to be using Punching Bag from Favorite Dream. And I'm actually going to use a bit of a sharper brush to get those edges really sharp. Okay, I'm actually a really big fan of the way that turned out. Now let's see if I can replicate it on the other eye. Usually, the answer is no. I usually cannot do the same thing twice. So I'm going to start with the more precise brush this time. Go into punching bag. I still can't get over the smell of the leather binding on this. Very pickly. Let's mirror this. Let's, let's make this look the same. And I did it. Okie doke. It's working. So now my nakedness is actually starting to be very distracting. So I'm going to take a break from the eyes and I'm going to use Sleepwalker from Black Moon Cosmetics as my lip. And I know he does not have black lipstick, but this look is screaming for black lipstick. If you want something closer to the lip that he's wearing, I would suggest Lolita from KVD. But I'm going for Sleepwalker. That looks cool. <laughs> I feel much less naked now, and I feel like I can. I feel like I can continue the look. So next, to get that purple around the eye. Let's see if Fever Dream has anything close to that. Um, not really. So we're going to put this away. But the Matrix palette did have some purples. So I'm going to open that up and see if there's anything that works since Cyberhex is kind of Matrixy adjacent. It makes sense. Okay, it looks like I could choose from, let's take a look at that purple. It almost looks like it's this reddish purple database. I'm going to swatch that on my hand and see if I like it. Yeah, I'm going to use database from the Matrix palette. And I'm going to use sort of a fluffy brush with it. Because I just plan on dabbing instead of swiping. This brush is too big. Let's use this one. And then on the inside corners, I am going to blend it instead of tapping it. That's lovely. Same with the other eye. Q 
cute. I like it. I like it a lot. So now for the cybery portion of the cyber hex look. The little ch ch ch. I'm gonna pin my hair back so that I have full access to this side. Ignore the zit. Full access to the side. We're probably gonna cover that up just because it's distracting. So for the little ch ch ch, I'm not gonna just do eyeshadow even though you could. Instead, I'm going to be using liquid latex. And what I'm gonna do to use the liquid latex is I'm gonna take a couple of drops of liquid latex and I'm gonna mix it with some flakes off of my Made You Look ink watercolor. This is a water-based body paint called Ink from Made You Look. I'll link it down in the description if I remember. But I'm gonna just scrape a little bit off of this and mix it with the liquid latex, which is liquidy enough that it's going to activate the body paint. And I'm going to use the end of a makeup brush to apply it. This is going to give that a 3D appearance versus it just being flat to the face. It gives it a little bit of character and depth and makes you wonder like, why is it 3D? I actually pre-mixed all that into this container. You can see it's kind of gray inside. And I'm just gonna get some on the end of this brush and then draw out the detail. So it goes straight down from the hairline and through the eyebrow. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not going to go over my eyebrow because it will rip the hair out and I don't want that. <laughs> um, if I was doing this for a concert, of course I would go over my eyebrow, I'd put some Vaseline down and I'd commit to it, but for right now, we're just going to skip right over the eyebrow because it's all going to be black anyway. But where I've mixed this with a black pigment, it will get darker as it dries, but I may still have to go over it with some black eyeshadow once it's complete. I've already messed up. Great thing about liquid latex is you can just roll off your mistakes and try again. Let's try that a second time, this time without making the same mistake. So my mistake before was that I didn't do the little to go down onto the eyebrow. So we're going to do that this time. Okay. Let's get some hair out of the way. Chris has a much larger forehead space than I do, apparently, because I was just vibing and then realized that I had not done it correctly. And if you do this technique, you might want to do a couple of layers of the liquid latex just to give it a lot of depth. Now straight down to the eyebrow. I'm not going to go over the eyebrow because, like I said, I don't want to commit to ripping my eyebrow out for the sake of the video. And then we're going to bring this down to the bottom of the eyebrow. Into the top of that lid. And then the easiest part is to bring it down the cheek. I realize my lines have slanted a little bit, but it's because I wanted to cover up that zit. That's the only reason why I slanted. <laughs> um, otherwise, I think I did a pretty good job with keeping the shape. But because of where his hairline is, he obviously has a lot more real estate to take care of up here. So I made it my own. You could always leave it like this with your slightly lighter grayish color, or you could do a neon color using like a neon pigment. Makeup a Murder has great neon pigments. I kind of want to do that actually. I might do that for the concert. That'd be fun. I'm going to actually let this dry and go over it with a black shadow. Also be very careful with liquid latex. I say this every time, but make sure you're not allergic to it and then don't put it close to your eye. I've been using liquid latex for like ever and I know how close to my eye I can get with it, but if you haven't used it a lot before, don't put it near your eye. Like, even now, as much as I've used liquid latex in my entire life, I still have gotten liquid latex on my eyelash, and it's very uncomfy. <laughs> as you can see, 
it's starting to dry and as it dries it's getting darker. I did use a black pigment so it's going to become pretty dark. I'm just going to go over it at the end when it's completely dry just to match the black with the black that I've already used on my eyes. For the sake of it just looking more like what Chris has done. Just to, despite the liberties I took with the lines slanting so that I could get rid of that zit. <laughs> While I wait for that to dry, I think I'm actually going to hit my waterline with the black NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Okay, now that it's dried down, I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and fill it in just to make it a little bit darker and a little less shiny. But if you like the shiny effect, that's cool too. It'd be really cool to put like a silver over top. Desperately want to put a silver over top. But I'm going to go for black just because that's what his looks like. Okay, not exactly twinning, but inspired by at the very least. So now that I've done this, I'm going to add a little bit of silver, just a little bit of silver. Just going to take this brush, go into the Adams Family palette, pretend like you're not even seeing it. Going to get a little bit of moon on there. Yeah. That was totally worth it. I really like that sparkle. So there you have it. That, that was me trying to recreate the Chris Motionless Cyber Hex makeup look. I think I did a pretty decent job. It's not an exact copy. Of course, my lines are kind of slanty and his are straight down, which are more uniform and corresponds better to the actual music video and the theming, but I'm still very happy with it. And you kind of get the idea of what to do to make it pop. If you want a 3D line, use liquid latex. Another technique that you could use is the one I used for my heart wound that one Valentine's Day. And you could roll tissue paper and then cover the tissue paper in liquid latex and just do the design in that rolled tissue paper. Would give it even more depth, but you'd have to paint it. You'd have to go over it with like a paint, a body paint, or an eyeshadow but it would give it even more depth, make it look like wires in your face, which would be really, really cool. So for the comments down below, tell me which of the makeups you liked better, Chris's makeup or the rest of the band. So the rest of the band has the symbol on both sides and Chris just had the one ch -ch -ch on one side. And if you don't talk to me about that, tell me what your favorite Motionless and White song is. And if you don't talk to me about that, just talk to me about something, because I love for you to talk to me down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>